I'm buying a new car. And no, it's not what you probably expected me to get. I'm buying a BMW M4, but I almost picked up the Tesla Model S. Now testing this car out, I immediately loved the performance. But what sealed the deal was the crazy tech the M4 has in it. It's got some super advanced driver assistance and a cutting edge infotainment center. It's kind of a perfect car for making tech videos. I honestly can't say what exactly made me go with the M4 over the Model S. But once I was sitting in the M4, that was it. So yeah, now that I picked it, can you guys spot the difference between the real wheel and the fake wheel? No? That's what I thought. Checkmate, liberals. Oi, mate! On today's episode of How Fucked Up Is Fucked Up, that's fucked up, and that's fucked up, and um... Imagine having a Miata. Ew. Are you recording? Yeah. Wait, do, do the horn, do the horn! Do the horn! <laughs> the hose goes the dick.
guy goes crazy after causing crazy car accident. I was thinking we might as well try and blow it up using a Supra. There are no cracks, no nothing. This thing's got a pretty crazy two-step. <laughs> It's hot. Oh, oh, it's hot. No way. Dude, look at that. I'm a classic car driver. I prefer quality to fancy touchscreens that just get outdated. I'm a classic car driver. Of course I don't have Bluetooth and my speakers sound like this. I'm a classic car driver. Of course I'm always getting disrespected on the roads. I'm a classic car driver. I always drive with my windows open, so you know it never gets to me. I'm a classic car driver. Of course my biggest fear is somebody stealing it. Oh. Oh. Ugh. I'm a classic car driver. My car has patina, but I notice any new scratches. I just wanted to hear. I'm a classic car driver. Of course I'm always buying parts online. Presentinho. Chuva de explosão. Credo. I'm looking for a new mechanic, but it's not gonna be this guy. He thought he was setting me up for a big payday, but it was I who set him up with hidden cameras and baiting him with a vehicle in perfect condition. He told me to replace wheel bearings. Lower control arm, shocks, struts, for 11 and a half hours labor at $100 per hour for work that certainly could have been done in six. In most situations, the car will tell you when something's wrong. In this case, I knew nothing was wrong, but what do you do if you're not sure? Follow the maintenance schedule and nothing else. Scam severity rating, eight out of 10. Scam attempt, $2,000. <coughs> oh shit, what the? Maintenance time. How much? Secret. Why? Yes, yes. $60? What? Yeah, I'm pushing like 4,000 horsepower. Sick, sick. Yeah, no. What about you, man? What do you drive? Oh, me? Um, I actually daily a Lexus RCS. A Lexus, bro? That, that's an old man's car. Yeah, a Lexus? Yeah. It's a Lexus, yep. You actually bought a V6 on purpose? No, no. Uh, you're thinking of the RC350? Um, I actually have an RCF, which is like the 5 liter V8. Bro, I'm a car guy. You're, you're making that up. You're talking about an F Sport. That's not a real it's car. It's a real car. I mean... Buddy, listen to me. They didn't I mean, make any performance cars besides the Lexus LFA. That's the no. only Lexus with a V8 in it, okay? Not your car. Oh, sure, man. Totally. No, no you're right. I actually... I'm gonna go home and count the cylinders one more time i might have just i got glasses on so I you're definitely wrong bro i work on cars i just no, plastered at my wheels last I'm gonna week go yeah you like my car huh let me show you a couple of its key features first of all this is a very accurate representation of the jeep renegade the battery's dead look at that killer four banger engine it's a fiat engine don't you know this sucker's italian my windshield washer fluid cover melted off so now we just keep duct tape over that some bitch it works great I know you can't tell any difference, but the fan quit working about a year after I got it and the engine almost caught on fire. There's the replacement I got. I did a little aftermarket work to mine. I think it looks better than the original. By aftermarket work, I mean I drove it into a telephone pole. And since the battery's dead, I can't open the back to show you, but take a look at this. The plastic panel that covers the rear door fell off shortly after I got the car. Could I have fixed it? Yeah. Did I? No. I threw that some bitch in the top of my shed. The interior of the door is starting to fall apart right here, right here, and in various other places. And I can't show this to you right now. Just know that every time I try to switch between fourth and fifth gears, the car acts like I drove it into a fucking wall. It's a timing issue, Jeep said. We fixed it, Jeep said. Yeah, well, you did fix it until I turned the car off and back on, and then the same problem started again. We're at about 130,000 miles. I've had this car break down three or four times, but you know what? For an American-made vehicle with a Fiat engine in it, I guess it's okay. Also, for its limited size, it's extraordinarily heavy. The gas mileage is horrible, about 22 miles per gallon on the highway, and it's as aerodynamic as a fucking toaster. Yeehaw. 